Hello students, today we are going to do chapter number 2 of class 1 EVS. The name of the chapter is My Body. In this chapter, we will learn about the names of different parts of the body and their functions and sense organs. Okay, now look at the pictures. What you have noticed? Here, two pictures are given. Okay, in the first picture, a girl said to a boy that to turn off the volume. And in another picture, the father said to a boy that not to sit too near to the TV. So, the pictures describe that we see from our eyes and we hear from our ears. We should not hear anything at high volume like music, movies, etc. that can damage our ears. And also we should not watch or see TV too closely that can affect our eyes. Okay? Students, first I will read the chapter line wise then I will explain it to you side by side. Okay, so now let's start. Our body has different parts. Look at the pictures below and learn the names of the different parts of the body. So according to this line, our body has many parts and each part has its own functions. Now look at this picture. Look at this picture. Here, the names of different parts of the body are given. So let's learn it one by one. Now first is head. H E A D head. S H O U L D E R shoulder. C H E S T chest S T O M A C H stomach W R I S T wrist T H U M B thumb F O O T foot A R M arm E L B O W elbow H A N D hand F I N G E R S fingers K N E E knee L E G leg T O E toe So students these are the names of different parts of the body. So now move on to another picture which shows the different parts of a face. So now let's start. H A I R hair F O R E H E A D forehead E Y E I M O U T H mouth L I P S lips
T O N G U E tongue C H I N chin T E E T H teeth C H E E K cheek and O S E nose E Y E B R O does eyebrow so these are the different parts of a face now move on to next we see different parts of our body to do different things so students as we have seen the body parts the body parts do different works that means each body parts has its own function okay now let us see how they help us we can stand walk run and jump with the help of our legs and feet so students we have two legs and feet which help us to stand walk run jump and so on you can see the pictures over here now move on to next we can do many things with our arms hands and fingers some of them are eating holding brushing and painting so students we also have two hands which we can eat brush write paint and we can hold the things and so on now next we use both hands and legs to do activities like swimming and dancing students we use both hands and legs to do some activities like dancing swimming skipping etc now next that is sense organs some parts of our body help us to feel and sense things around us they are called sense organs we have five sense organs they are eyes ears nose tongue and skin they help us to see hear smell taste and feel so students here in this paragraph what we have learned that some parts of our body help us to feel and sense things around us are called sense organs there are five sense organs what are they they are eyes ears nose tongue and skin and each sense organs have its own functions like they help us to see hear smell taste and feel so students we are able to learn understand and enjoy all the things around us with the help of sense organs now move okay now move on to next the five sense organs have different functions so students each sense organs has a particular functions okay so let's start with our eyes we see with our eyes so we have two eyes which help us to see many things around us like nature the sun the moon and we can also read books and many more so our next organ is ears we hear with our ears so students we also have two ears and which help us to hear the sounds of different things okay so now next is nose nose help us to smell the different things our next organ is tongue we taste with our tongue 
So, students, tongue help us to taste of different foods like bitterness, sweet, sour, salty, and so on. And our last organ is skin. We touch and feel with our skin. So, skin help us to feel the things. Okay, now move on to next. That is, give it a shot. Look at these pictures and write down the sense organ that we use to do this activity. So students, here first you have to see the pictures and you have to write down the sense organ that we use to do this activity. So look at the first picture. A boy is holding a cat and feeling the softness of a cat. So here a boy used skin to feel the softness of a cat. So here in this blank space you have to write skin on it. So similarly you have to complete rest of the portion by yourself. Okay, now let's go through the exercise portion of this chapter. Let's start with exercise A. Fill in the blanks. Draw and color these parts of the body. So students, here you have to fill the blanks and you have to draw a pictures and you have to color that pictures. Okay, so let's start with number 1. I have dash nose so students how many nose do you have yes one that means you have to write one over here and you have to draw a picture of nose out here and you have to color the picture okay similarly you rest of the portion you have to do by yourself okay now move on to next that is take the correct answers Here, you have to choose the correct answers from the words given below. So, look at here in question number 1. Okay? I smell with my dash. So, that means the correct answer is nose. So, similarly, you have to do the rest portion of this exercise. Okay? And you have to do it by yourself. Now, next is question and answers. So, students, question and answers, you have to solve it by yourself. Only question and answers, you have to write in your exercise copy. That is, interlude copy, which I have already shown you in the previous video. Thank you.